हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप आई एस वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ इंडियन एकोनॉमी एसेंशियल्स एंड इन टुडे सेशन लेट्स ट्राइन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई डिस्पाइट द फॉल आउट ऑफ सिलिकॉन वैली बैंक और एस इंडियन स्टार्टअप्स आर अवॉइडिंग गिफ्ट सिटी नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स या very recently there have been certain issues regarding the banking sector in usa it all started with the fall out or fall off silicon valley bank which was followed by many other smaller banks in usa now in case of the silicon valley bank many of these indian startups had kept funds with the svb and as per estimates given by the government of india the startups in india had provided or had kept deposits worth 1 billion dollar in the silicon valley bank and after there was a issue with the silicon valley bank number of the startups have brought in this amount of deposit into the gift city and the data has been given by the government itself somewhere around 200 million dollars worth of the funds or worth of the money has been brought in by the startups into the gift city now the question arises one what is this gift city and second why is that only 20% of these funds have been brought in by the startups into gift city why not all the 100% or why not even 70 to 80% of these funds let's try to address these concerns in the video let me start with the basics here first one what is this gift city gift city in simple terms the the gift city stands for name of a place it is a place in gujarat the long form of gift is gujarat international finance tech city now what is the what, what is it relevant to why is it, why is this gift city very famous there is a concept of special economic zones yes easy special economic zone now what is this idea of a special economic zone under the scc act of 2005 certain region will be notified as a special economic zone and whenever any region is identified as a special economic zone rules that are applicable to the enterprises working in this area in this region the rules will be relaxed what kind of rules we will have a look at it don't worry certain rules and regulations which are applicable to the businesses which are operating in the scc will be relaxed and because the rules and regulations are relaxed a lot of incentives are provided lot of businesses are attracted to set up their businesses within the special economic zone now the same logic you please apply to the gift city the region that is the area of gift city is somewhere around right 880 plus acres 880 plus acres but out of that most of this region is classified as a domestic tariff area domestic tariff area that is somewhere around 625 and 261 acres is classified as special economic zone yes easy now what is this domestic tariff area imagine this is a region economic region and within this region only this region has been identified as a special economic zone which means rules and regulations applicable to the entities in the region are relaxed the remaining region the remain remaining or the remainder part of this region is referred to as a domestic tariff area that is no exemption nothing will be provided for the businesses present in the region here so apply the same logic to the gift city gift city is divided into two parts one is international financial services center that is special economic zone and remainder part of the gift city wherein all the other facilities will be provided such as schooling healthcare facility recreation facilities housing facilities etc 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 now why was the gift city proposed why did we set up gift city the reason is that whenever you talk about the domestic market right, that is indian market lot of capital controls are imposed by the government 
सर वॉट यू मीन बाय कैपिटल कंट्रोल सिया वेन एवर यू टॉक अबाउट लेट्स ए इन्वेस्टमेंट कमिंग इन टू इंडिया द डॉलर फ्लोइंग इन टू इंडिया वन ऑफ द कंसर्न हैज बिन दैट देर आर रेग्युलेशन रेस्ट्रिक्शन विच आर एप्लीकेबल टू दीज इन्वेस्टमेंट टेक्निकली आई एम टेलिंग यू अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पार्शियल कन्वर्टिबिलिटी पार्शियल कन्वर्टिबिलिटी ऑफ रूपी which is hindering lot of investments in the domestic market especially let's say in the financial market now in order to address this in order to address this situation because if you have lot of controls like this participation of india's financial market in the global international or global financial market will be limited in order to address all these issues the government proposed the idea of international financial services center Initially, the IFSC was supposed to be set up in Bombay, right? But later, this was basically shelved, and Gujarat government proposed to set up a city which is by the name of Gift City. And in this Gift City, we also proposed to set up International Financial Services Center (IFSC). Now, within the IFSC, what kind of services are available? Services related to shipping. and when i say service related to shipping that is the companies providing shipping services are present companies providing other financial services such as banking insurance stock market etc are present within the ifsc that is a gift city now what is the advantage of it when you say certain exemptions are provided what kind of exemptions what are the advantages for you to set up your business within the ifsc international financial services center these are some of the advantages one whenever you set up within the scc certain tax exemptions are provided lot of tax exemptions are provided for example i said stock market facilities are there nse has a, a unit in this bsc has a unit in this what kind of tax exemptions are there here security transaction tax not applicable long term short term capital gains tax not applicable dividend distribution tax not applicable you do not have to pay any of these taxes if the transaction are conducted in the stock market within ifsc if you are a company who is set up here and you avail the services gst is not applicable mat is not applicable you you set up the office in case of real estate you will have to pay certain stamp duties registration fees have to be paid state government will refund all of it reimburse all of this amount you set up a banking unit with an ifsa crr exempted you do not have to abide by that psl requirements exempted slr requirements exempted so these are the kind of facilities or let's say special provisions which are applicable to the businesses which are located within the ifsc now some of you might be thinking of it and say sir but government is incurring a loss by not imposing taxes the whole argument here is not to collect taxes the argument here is to attract foreign investors to attract lot of transactions within this city and this is not the first city in the global market you already have cities such as uh, london new york where the ifscs that is offshore financial centers are already present india wants to promote one of its areas or let's say regions right as a part of this right let's say market here right so these are certain very very important points regarding what is the concept of gift city right when it was set up why it was set up now ifsc was uh, announced in 2015 initially to begin with there are multiple regulators within ifsc because you have banking services rbi used to regulate it used to basically announce regulations your stock market sebi used to announce it but because of these multiple regulatory agencies certain issue would be created government of india passed an act ifsca act ifsca act and as as a result of this from 2020 we have one regulatory authority international financial services 
सेंटर अथॉरिटी दैट इज आई एफ एस सी ए विच इज अफाइड रेग्युलेटर टू रेग्युलेट ऑल द प्रोडक्ट विच आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड ट्रेडेड इन द आई एफ एस सी नाउ एनी काइंड ऑफ अ ट्रांजेक्शन दैट इज डन इन आई एफ एस सी इट हैज टू बी डन इन अ नॉन इंडियन करेंसी दैट इज रूपी विल नॉट बी यूज फॉर कंडक्टिंग ट्रांजेक्शन any other currency best example dollar will be used for conducting transactions within ifsc so these are certain very important points let me come to the point at the hand that is why why is that startups are avoiding gift city why are they not bringing if you look at it there are so many provisions so many exemptions so many advantages of bringing money into ifsc but even then why only around 20% of the funds held by the startups in the svb has been moved into gift city these are the following reasons point number 1 the startups or the people who have to bring the dollars into let's say the gift city they are worried about the regulations sir what do you mean by regulations because earlier you told regulations are very much simplified very much relaxed the startups are saying what if the regulations are suddenly changed by the government what if they change it suddenly new type of a tax is imposed that is volatility in the regulation is one of the concern second very important point most of these startups are registered domiciled in delaware that is in the usa why because the angel investors or other investors might have put this as one condition second these startups also believe that the most of their business is in usa and third it also becomes easy for them to get listed later in usa if they are incorporated or domiciled within usa so they they are already present in usa why should they bring these dollars into india again third the banking system which is present within the gift city uses a swift messaging system very often this is there in the newspaper it uses swift messaging system society for world bank inter interbank financial telecommunications society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunications and the problem with the swift system is one the K kyc norms is very strict here a 6 point kyc norms is present very cumbersome process tiring process and second cost related to transfer of funds using swift system it's higher so it is costly for them and a lot of regulations documentation is required compliance requirements are very high rather than that don't you think it makes it makes better sense for these startups to transfer funds within usa from svb bank into another bank that is there within usa itself so that is what these startups are doing they are simply transferring the funds within usa and have a look at this there are various banks within usa which are providing better services now which are providing faster services for example in case of usa uh, there were two banks brex and mercury which became very famous after svb collapse in fact mercury right went ahead and set up one more product called as vault and the speciality about the vault was that they provided higher insurance for the deposits under this product they provided higher insurance for the deposits how high in case of usa the insurance for the deposits is 250000 250000 whereas in case of vault product they in fact opted for a higher insurance and provided insurance to the extent of 5 million dollars which means your deposits in this bank are much much safer even though you might be keeping 2 million 3 million now deposit insurance is provided for these products or these are deposits so these are some of the reasons these are some of the reasons why the startups looked at the situation agreed SVB bank there's a collapse there is a issue with the banking sector in USA but rather than bringing these dollars back into the or into the gift city they decided let me take these dollars into another bank within USA now based on this discussion i've given an mcq here consider the following statements regarding gift city 
गिफ्ट सिटी कंसिस्ट ऑफ डोमेस्टिक टैरिफ एरिया एंड एस इजी वन इज करेक्ट द आई एफ एस इज रेग्युलेटेड बाय सेबी सेकेंड वन इज रॉन्ग वी हैव अफाइड रेग्युलेटर नाउ आई एफ एस सी ई राइट सो द राइट ऑप्शन फॉर द क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन ए ओनली वन इज करेक्ट सो दीज आर द वेरियस पॉइंट आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ एस वी बी गिफ्ट सिटी एज वेल एज इंडियन स्टार्टअप If you like these initiatives please hit the like button provide your valuable comments in the section below and if you yet to subscribe to Byju's exam prep IAS YouTube channel kindly do it now thank you have a great day